Hello everybody, Toastbomb here bringing you more Halo 4 gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about the BR versus the DMR versus the Carbine. So let's get right into it. So let's talk about the BR a little bit. Now, arguably the worst thing about the BR is that it has pretty bad spread, especially in game in a game like Halo 3, where at long ranges it can just be a nightmare to use in even some mid-range engagements. Now they have said, people have said that the BR in Halo 4 doesn't have very much spread, but it still has some, so it can very easily become an issue. But to kind of make up for that a little bit, it has the three-shot burst, where you don't necessarily have to hit the head on that first bullet. You have two other bullets after that, and you can kind of flick the control stick around, move it up to the head if you are off, and end up getting the kill in, in still four shots or in Halo 4's case, 5 shots. So that can make up for it some of the time, but that still has an amount of inconsistency that a lot of players don't want. They want a consistent weapon that shoots right where they're aiming, which is why the DMR can be really great. It has, with the Bloom, a potential for zero spread, where your bullets are going to go exactly where you want them to 100% of the time, every time. But you have to shoot slower, and that kind of sucks. But with the BR's five-shot kill, the DMR actually does have a slightly higher potential kill rate if you're spamming the DMR. Also, one of the DMR's downfalls is that it has a really large zoom, which can be nice at times for really long-distance targets, but that doesn't happen super often. A lot of times you're fighting at mid-range, and with the BR, you'd sometimes zoom in at medium range to be able to eat more easily pick up that headshot. But with the DMR, it almost zooms in too much and becomes uh, hard and awkward to aim with such a large zoom. It's like you're zo uh, zooming in twice on a target with the sniper that's like 10 feet from you. It just doesn't work and it's really awkward. So that's kind of where the BR takes advantage and the carbine as well, where they have kind of this medium zoom where you can use kind of at long range, it's harder, but you can use it really effective at medium range and the DMR doesn't quite have that. Also, the DMR that's really nice about it is it has the least amount of bullets needed to kill. The BR, while it is also a five shot, you're shooting three bullets, and you still can potentially miss those three bullets in a burst. The DMR, as long as you're really accurate and precise with your shots, you don't need to hit very many bullets. But with something like the Carbine, where it has a very, very high rate of fire, so you can kind of have some wiggle room to miss, because if you do miss, you're shooting a bullet, boom, right again right away other than DMR where there's more time in between shots. So with something like BR or the Carbine, if you miss, it's not quite as big of a deal, but if you're not ac but it's a lot harder to be accurate with your shots because you're shooting so quickly and it's harder to stay on target for that many bullets. So you'd think, well, maybe the Carbine would be good because you can kind of play sloppy with it and, you know, miss some of your shots but make up for it, but one of the main problems with the carbine is it does have a little bit of spread, but that usually doesn't hurt it too bad, is that it doesn't have a very big clip. And for bullet size, it, you wouldn't think that that would be much of an issue, but if you try to use it, by the time you get a kill, you have to reload, because it's like seven or eight shots to kill somebody. Which is really nice with the BR and the DMR, because it, they have potential for like three kills in one clip if you're landing all your shots. The Carbine doesn't even have the potential for two kills, I don't even think. Maybe, but it's very hard, because it's hard to land 100% of your shots when you're firing so quickly. So after looking at all the weapons and all these things, the, the spread, the kill time, the, the bullets to kill, the zoom, the rate of fire, sadly, even though I love the BR, I really think the DMR just takes the cake. It has the potential for zero spread which no other weapon has. All the, all the other weapons are going to have some element of spread, except for, like, the sniper, but that's not a primary weapon, so don't even think about that. 
The kill time can be varied. I can shoot slower but more accurate, or faster but less accurate. And this didn't really work that well in Reach because it was almost always better to spam than pace your shots. Because when you're spamming, it was unaccurate enough that you couldn't be accurate with your shots where you, you could like hit the target where you wanted to hit it, like in the head. But it was fast enough that it made up for that non-accuracy and slowing down your shots, you'd always get beat by spammers. But in Halo 4, they made it so the bloom is so minimal, it's almost like Halo 3 BR spread, but a little bit more. So if you're at very far range, that spread's going to suck, but if you're at like mid-range, you could probably just spam all day and you'd be fine. So I'm thinking that the bloom's not really going to play that big of a role in the DMR at any close range to mid-range engagements because it's so minimal. So it lets you get faster kill times, and you can just spam and not really have to worry about it. Then you look at like the bullets required to kill, and since it's a lower amount of bullets, it is a higher risk and reward situation. But if you're a skilled enough player and you know you can land those shots, it's going to be easier because you can kind of take your time. It's a little bit slower of a fire rate. And if you know you can hit them, you're going to be much more accurate and be able to kill those people a lot more effectively than those people who are shooting the much higher rate weapons. And then the one thing that's bad, the zoom, does kind of suck. But you can, again, if you're good enough at the game, you can work around that sort of thing where the zoom won't really be that big of a deal because you can fight guys at mid-range unzoomed just fine. So yeah, in conclusion, I think the DMR for the really highly skilled players is going to be the weapon of choice because it just has more potential for faster kills and more accurate shots. But what I really think is going to be powerful is using firepower, which allows you to have two primary weapons using the BR or the carbine in one primary weapon slot and then the DMR in the other one. That way you have the versatility and long range of the DMR, but at the same time, if you run out of ammo or if you're in a situation that the BR or the carbine would work better, you can switch to that instantly. Boom, you got more ammo or whatever, and you can just keep shooting those guys. I think that's going to be a huge, huge perk that a lot of people are going to be using that firepower when the game comes out. Now, if you have anything you want to say, you disagree with me, you agree with me, you have some ideas for how the weapons are going to mix together, maybe some loadouts that you're thinking about, any sort of ideas, you can post those. Feel free to post those in the comments below. We can talk about them and discuss and have a great time doing that. But that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, you can leave a like or a comment. If you really like the video, you can subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. Also, of course, I haven't played the game. The game's not out yet. A lot of you guys probably haven't played the game, so we don't really, really know about this stuff. It's just kind of speculation for fun, and they've changed stuff since the E3 build that we saw at RTX and E3, so there's been balancing issues, you know, tweaked and changed and all this stuff. The BR could be a 4-shot again, and the DMR could be an 18-shot. We don't know. But kind of on that same note about not really seeing those changes we might see a new build at PAX there's been some rumors that there's going to be some new gameplay stuff at PAX they're going to maybe be announcing some stuff that they haven't talked about yet because the game's right around the corner and PAX is coming up soon also 343 is right there in Seattle where PAX is held so it kind of makes sense for them to go to it maybe show off some stuff that they haven't seen before so be expecting that also, we heard a while ago that there's going to be somebody leaking some new multiplayer footage later this week. I don't really know. This week's almost up, so time's ticking for that guy to leak that footage, or if he was just bluffing. I don't know. Also, and then uh, last thing I want to say is this is not my gameplay Halo 4 footage or anything like that. Some people have been a little bit confused about that, and that's all right. This specific video is from GameSpot. Some of them have been from Machinima or just random people who have been like recording the game while they're at an event or something like that. But I always, always, always post the link to the original video that I saw in the description. So if you want to go see that, some of them have commentary of their own and stuff like that. So if you want to check out their original video, you can go look at that. 
because there will always be a link in the description for you to check out. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.